All right, Tuesday edition of Say What? And uh, I'm going to dive into this one first, Jason Strudwick. And I'm going to show you an image uh, that was recently caught at a wildlife preserve down in Tanzania. Take a look at this very unusual photo. Uh, as you can see right here, there's something peculiar about this giraffe uh, in that it doesn't have its <laughs> famous neck. Now, this is actually a bit, that was actually a bit of an illusion, but it prompted me to search the reason for why it didn't have a neck. It led me to something else completely different and I wanted to share it with everyone at home. Apparently there's been a Photoshop battle going online uh, for the last few months demonstrating animals if their necks were removed. Uh, we just saw a donkey. This is what a cow would look like without its <laughs> neck. It is an affront to God if ever there was one. Uh, this is an elephant without its neck, uh, its head buried beneath uh, the upper reaches of its leg. Now, these are not all the type of things that are gonna haunt your memories and your nightmares this evening. Take a look at this. This is kind of adorable. This is a baby hippo without a neck. And yes, yes, <laughs> all I want for Christmas is a hippopotamus, okay? I make no bones about it, especially if it doesn't have a neck, Jason. <laughs> Very cool. Let me jump into my next one. This is actually all animal related as well. I'm going to take you out to the great country of Lithuania, and they have a yearly uh, goat pageant. That's right, the most beautiful goat of this little town. And here it is. You can check out. There's a, but there's a big parade. Everyone can bring their goats out. And then six finalists are chosen. They get the most beautiful goats, and they're judged on things like nicest skin, uh, the hoofs, these types of things. And the winner this year was Demite, a.k.a. Little Spot, and they were very excited that he won, but it's a big deal in this little town, Lithuania. Congratulations to Little Spot. You're the champion, my man, the champion for that year. Uh, this is where I'm going to say something like, you've got to be kidding me, or, hoof, look at that one right there, but I'm not going to. I'm going to respect this small Lithuania town's tradition. I'm not going to mock it, Jason. Uh, all right, so next up, uh, I guess it's, it does seem like there's a bit of an animal theme going on here again this evening. Uh, earlier this year, we introduced you to a very interesting and unique take on uh, a Lincoln Park track. Well, the group behind that song is back uh, with their take on Joan Osborne's classic 90s hit, One of Us. Take a listen. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. In case you weren't quite able to make out what's happening there, that is, like I said, One of Us by Joan Osborne. It's from the folks over at uh, Insane Cherry uh, YouTube channel there, basically splicing together barks, meows, hee-haws, and other terrifying sounds like that really angry goat we just saw. Uh, as I mentioned, uh, that one can be found on YouTube. Top that, Jason. Top that. Oh, that's hilarious. That's absolutely great. Well, let's end on this now. I want to show you a gentleman who feels so strongly about protecting some endangered species in, in endangered areas that he decided to put not one, but two vampire bats in his mouth. Why? Just to make sure that people knew how important it is to protect these uh, areas and these bats. Check this out, Courtney. He puts them in there. It doesn't quite close his mouth all the way. And then he opens his mouth and they fly out. Who would put these flying rats or mice in their mouth. It is crazy, absolutely crazy. Yikes, well, you know what? There's no better way to ensure the longevity of a, a, a species than apparently by eating them. That's what I'm looking at there. Uh, that's absolutely insane. Thank you so much, Jason. Uh, we'll be checking back with you, of course, out at uh, the uh, uh, bistro down there on 102nd Avenue coming up in a little bit. Right now, though, we're going to take a chance to catch our breath after that hilarity. Don't go too far. More DT back at you in a couple minutes.